Um, well, I'll get smart city, smart choice. My name is Archelis. Hi, I'm the manager of long term investments for the city of Philadelphia. I sit within the Department of Commerce. My six words and my mission are essentially the same, so I've cheated and used eight. So at the PHL, I'm responsible for supporting and growing the startup ecosystem in Philadelphia. Startup PHL is the brand for startups in the city of Philadelphia, and there's basically three core elements to what we do, what I do. StartupPHL.com is an online home for the Philadelphia startup community and it's being relaunched, rebranded, we're working on it as we speak. So you should expect that sometime around summer or fall of this year. Um, so basically it'll be, you know, where all your startups are, where the investment community is, uh, jobs, pilots, anything and everything, how to do business with the city of Philadelphia, register your business, etc. That will be there. Basically we're trying to reduce the friction for companies to come here for a year stay here. Uh, Startup PHL call for ideas, small grants to organizations that provide training and education to entrepreneurs. We just closed around. We hope to do another one before the end of the year. So, you know, stay tuned. Uh, look out on our Twitter at Startup PHL for when the next one will be announced. Five to $25,000 grants. And then last but not least, the Startup PHL Seed Fund, founded in 2012, public-private partnership between the city and first round capital of Josh Koppelman, $6 million. We have about eight companies in the portfolio now, so we're very excited to see where things go with that. Um, so other programs that people start up, I work very closely with the directors of all of these programs here uh, in the city. Um, we heard from Story Fellow for Fast Forward. Uh, we have Diane Lou in the house for Goldman Sachs, so that's kind of like a MBA boot camp for companies. I encourage you all to talk to her. <coughs> like qualify or interested in that program. Kiva Zip, we are one of the 12 cities that is uh, designated as a Kiva city, and those are zero interest loans to small businesses. We have some collateral in-house, I encourage you to look into that. And of course, Dream Adventures, our accelerator of the University City, rolling out programs like Access and Athena, Access for our minority-led entrepreneurs, Athena, first of its kind, right here in Philadelphia, I'm very proud to say, for female founders specifically, they just done with today, really good stuff. So some of the other incentives, like policies that the city specifically has for businesses, not just startups, but all businesses. Keystone Innovation Zone in Philadelphia. So these are three geographic zones throughout the city. The Navy Yard is one. Pipeline sits in one as well. Uh, essentially, it's um, you know companies that are less than eight years old. You qualify. You could potentially qualify for annual saleable credits of up to $100,000. This is a state-sponsored program. Um, money's there, so I encourage you guys to look into that program. All this information can be found uh, online at philadelphia.org slash commerce. And of course, you can always come up and talk to me afterwards for more details. Um, job creation tax credit, businesses that create jobs in Philadelphia this year may be eligible for a credit of 25000 per job created. In 2016, that's going to drop to 5000 so something to think about if you're hiring. Uh, it can be applied against your uh, business income receipts, and also you can bank it. So you can bank it for almost five years. The next is our Jumpstart Philadelphia. Uh, if you create three jobs this year, three jobs next year, basically your business income receipts taxes waived for the first two years. So you can kind of like layer these programs, right? You can do Jumpstart Philly, use that for the first two years, bank your JCTC, and start applying that in year three, four, five. So you can come and talk to me about that afterwards too if you have any questions. So of the four, and I think we, we focus on all of it, but certainly I believe one of the things, the most important one can be first place, access and inclusion. It's really important. I feel like the diversity in this city is its greatest strength. So it's important for me that the startup community reflect the diversity that exists throughout our community. And I'm very proud to say I think uh, the startup community does a really good job of supporting, growing, really touching the different neighborhoods that we have whether it's through GDI, Tech Girls, PSL, the item, and obviously the Philly Tech Week, the great work that these guys are doing five years on. Um, and I would say my call to action is to continue that access and that inclusion. As I mentioned, we're rebranding, relaunching our site, and the survey is live. So if you go to tellstartupphl.com, there's a survey there. I encourage you guys to please check it out, please respond. The website's only going to be as good as you know the people who are responding to it, so we want to make sure we're going into all different neighborhoods. The entire city is able to access all this information and to benefit from all of this information, and so that would be my biggest, biggest call to action for everybody if you could do that. That's me.